In this part 14 of the entire affiliate marketing tutorial series, I'm going to discuss about what is the frequency that you should be sending your emails to your subscribers. Because sending too low a frequency or even too high a frequency could jeopardize your entire email list and thereby affecting that you cannot even get any form of affiliate sales. Before I talk about how often I send my emails to my subscribers, first and foremost, you need to understand my entire email marketing system. So what I do is whenever I purchase solo ads clicks or from different traffic sources into my squeeze page, that is where my email marketing system starts. So from there, I will send email automation messages, which is once a day, all right, regardless of the open rates. And when I send my email marketing campaigns, which is my email broadcast, usually I will send them twice a day. But when I send my email broadcast, I really look in terms of the open rates. Because if the open rate is anything less than 10%, I will not even be sending any form of email broadcast. What I will do is I will focus in terms of where did I do wrong in terms of my email deliverability? Or is my open rate too low based on the swipes that I'm sending? Or is there any part whereby I authenticated the domain wrongly? So once I manage to get above 10% open rates, I will start to send my email broadcast once a day, moving on to different offers or back to the same offers. And after a week, if my open rates remain steadily above 10%, that is where I will send the second email broadcast. So combined with my email automation messages, there will be a total of three emails that I'm sending to my entire raw email list here. Now, subsequently, by using the third-party software that I mentioned several times in my email marketing tutorial series, which you can obtain the playlist from my YouTube channel, that is where I will build up my bias list C of people who have purchased my low-ticket offers. So for this group of buyers list, that's where the email automation stops because the automation is only meant for my initial traffic. So from here, my email marketing system, I'll be sending them twice a day. Same thing, I will just send once a day first to monitor the open rates. Everything goes smoothly after one week, I will start to send twice. And if any point in time, if the open rates drop below 10% consistently for two or three days, I will revert back to one again. So those people who have purchased my mid-ticket offers, that is where I will build up my buyers list B. Now, this group of buyers list will be the ones that will be promoting the high ticket offers. For this case, in terms of my email broadcast, I will only be sending them once a day. And because this buyers list B generally is smaller compared to my buyers list C or even my entire raw list, that is where I will have to make sure that my open rate is at least 20 to 30%. But regardless of the open rates, the maximum I will send them is just once a day. Subsequently, for those people who have purchased my high ticket offers, I will build up my buyers list A again. So this is my most precious buyers list because these people have proven to have invested thousands of dollars into purchasing the high ticket offers that I am promoting. Now, this group of people, again, I will promote different kind of high ticket offers, plus sending them more values in terms of free trainings, uh, free tutorial trainings as well. All right, and I will send them just once a day, of which four per week will be on promotional emails and three per week will be on free trainings email. Once you understand how my entire email marketing system works in terms of how I segregate the raw list to my bias list C, B, and A, you will understand why am I sending them at a different frequency. In order to succeed with email marketing, you seriously need to segment your list into the different bias type because these are buyers like what I stressed many times. They are no longer just your raw email list who are window shoppers or trying to get freebies from you. These buyers are the ones that you really have to take good care of them, especially your buyers list A, which is why out of seven days, I do not send them promotional emails every single day. End of the day, it will just irritate them. So like what I mentioned, I will only send them four times in a week, which is daily basis on promotional emails and three times a week on training emails. Check out the link in the description box below this video. You will reach this third party software. All right. And this is the one that I'm using to build up my entire buyer's email list. So if at any point in time after you have subscribed via my affiliate link in the description box and you need some form of guidance, just hit me up with a message and I will hop on to a complimentary Zoom session to help you to set up the whole thing.